And I was like, yo. Hey guys, it's Michelle or Mish Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. How's everyone's stay at home break going? This video was totally random, but I was watching some YouTube videos the other day and I got inspired to get back into painting as I'm currently quarantined with nothing fun to do anyways. So if you guys haven't seen my first paint with me video, I'll link it in the description box or on the screen if you're interested in how that went. But anywho, first things first, I need to repaint the stripes on these Adidas shoes for a friend. I'm low-key wondering why they're slightly discolored and peeled, but whatever happened to it, it's here for a makeover. So I began by taking the shoelaces off because they can get really annoying when painting, and of course, I don't want to get color on them. <laughs> then, with this ratchet box cutter I found... I used it to carefully scrape and peel the yellow paint off the stripes. Maybe if I had an X-Acto knife, it would have done the job a little faster, but I got what I had and I felt like I was doing one stripe per hour. Like, bruh, I don't have all day, sis. Y'all seeing this right now? This is so freaking tedious. This is taking me way too long. And yes, I am sitting on the floor with my PJs, but oh my gosh, look at the mess I left all over the floor. I'm gonna have to clean all of that up. This is kind of TMI, but you guys have been sitting on a wooden stool and my chemistry textbook. And speaking of chemistry, I should be doing some online coursework right now, but this is what I chose to do besides school. Throughout the video, you'll see some random clips of food or like drinks or something here and there. So I guess you can say this is like a vlog style video. Uh, I'm not sure, but I just like to share what I eat because art can make you hungry sometimes, you know? Hello, so it's somehow the next day now and it's time to start painting finally and yes, it took me almost the whole afternoon to peel them the other day, so I might as well take the rest of the day off. Bruh, I missed the container. Ugh. Wow, I'm blind. Oh my gosh. So before painting, I tried to act all professional and careful and attempted to tape the sides of the stripes to avoid getting paint in other parts of the shoe, like you know, any other shoe artist would do. But the tape didn't want to stick since I realized the shoe was made up of 85% fabric. So I kind of went YOLO and took everything off. Now, whipping out some white paint, I carefully painted each stripe to act as a blank canvas because I was going to do them in other colors after. So now, after letting the white paint completely dry for an hour or two, I was requested to do a blue and pink blend for the stripes. Uh, don't know how I'm going to do it while also staying in the lines, but I proceeded anyways. I've never had so much patience in my life. Like the paint was so sheer, so I had to go over with multiple layers and even more layers since I have to perfect the blend while alternating between colors. And keep in mind, I had 12 stripes to do. Then I kind of procrastinated and saw this viral Korean whipped coffee made just from instant coffee and sugar going around all over YouTube and TikTok called Dalgona coffee. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I thought I should try making it myself while I wait for the paint to dry, you know? I'm pretty sure I nailed it on the first try, not gonna lie. But y'all, this was so good, I don't think I can drink any other type of coffee anymore. Then, going back to this, I continued to finish the painting process and luckily I pulled through, but it just sucks how the shoes gotta be all white because it's scary when I accidentally get paint on unwanted spots on the shoe. Then, I kinda got sidetracked because I thought these two lizards were gonna square up or something, but they were probably camera shy or whatever. You'll soon realize that quarantine has really gotten to you if you just start staring at nature for fun. Okay, back to the shoes. I went off camera and carefully scraped off unnecessary paint with a blade and then sealed all 12 stripes with some sort of top coat and in this case, I used Mod Podge. And boom, check out these freshly painted kicks. Like, call me a shoe designer or whatever. To be honest, I'm about to go paint my own shoes now. 
Oh no no no, y'all thought this video was over, but of course I'm not gonna end it at painting just shoes. So, I bought these three mini canvases a few weeks ago before the pandemic got severe, and I was inspired to paint some cute Easter themed paintings since Easter is around the corner. I mean, if I do upload this video in time, then I guess happy Easter. Some of you guys have requested me to do some speed painting videos a while back, so finally, this is a video for you. So, as some of you guys may know, I usually don't sketch anything before painting and I would usually just cut to the chase and go straight to painting, but I guess I wasn't confident enough to go bold in this video, so I took the patience to sketch them all out. Are y'all proud of me? Cause I am. To start the speed painting process, I'm going to need some paint, obviously, so I ordered these fancy mini acrylic paints by the brand Liquitex around the same time I bought the canvases because I saw other artists use them in their videos and I was curious to test them out. Or maybe I just wanted to fit in like all the other painters and have it in my possession. I don't know. Then on the side, you're going to need a cup of water for drinking. Just kidding, um, to, you know, wash your paintbrushes in between switching colors. Oh my gosh, I just realized this video is gonna take me a hot minute to edit, so wish me luck. So I'm not exactly sure when this quarantine situation is gonna be over, but I hope everyone is practicing social distancing and at least finding something to do. And uh, y'all don't forget to do that online work. <laughs> not gonna lie, but it's kind of a struggle to catch up with online schooling when you're at home and you can easily get sidetracked with something else to do because believe me, I've been there, done that. Now that I think about it, it's kind of insane how our everyday routine is put on pause unexpectedly and you're forced to retain yourself from going to places and interacting with friends. It's funny how I'm like, yay, no school, but now I'm like dreading this and I just want to get out the house so bad. Is anyone like this? Cause I'm hoping I'm not the only one. But if you're feeling lonely or just want to talk, feel free to chat with me by commenting down below in this video on how you're doing with life in general at times like this, and I'll try my best to follow up with a reply because I'm curious to see how y'all are coping with it too. Anyways, I'm gonna hush now for a bit or maybe till we reach the end of this video because I find it low-key satisfying to watch the painting process, you know? So grab some snacks, some food or drinks, and I'll see you guys in a bit. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a like because y'all are the real OGs and I appreciate all of you guys for sticking with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for sticking around to watch how my quarantine break went. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and turn on post notifications to be notified every time when I upload a new video. Also, if you guys want to stalk or see more of me, follow me on Instagram at mishcrafts. All right, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.